Hey guys, just here, welcome back to the channel and the weekend is finally here, yes! And with that, of course, there's going to be some news that happened throughout this week or maybe throughout the week before that. So we're going to talk about the new 55-inch monitor from Gigabyte that is coming up very soon, but you may already have it at home and you don't even know. What about the new Neo G8 Mini LED from Samsung Monitor 32-inch 4K with 240Hz? It's coming out very soon, but the price, is it worth getting it? Acer is coming out with new 4K monitors with 3D support that you don't need glasses anymore. What? There's a new breakthrough in OLED technology that is going to fix a lot of issues, including brightness, energy consumption, and of course, price. And it's coming sooner than later. If you like this kind of content, be sure to like and subscribe to the channel. Let's get right into this video, guys. Let's do this. All right, guys, so I'm going to start with a brand new TV slash monitor from Gigabyte, which I'm very excited about this because it is very rare to see this big format. I remember a few years ago I saw this from, uh, I think it was uh, NVIDIA, the big format TV displays. Uh, but now it's coming from Gigabyte and this is the S55U. It says huge gaming monitor introduced with Android HDMI 2.1, 120Hz refresh rate and 1500 nits of peak brightness. Now there's a lot of cool specs right here. It supports AMD FreeSync Premium, Dolby Vision, HDR10, HDR10 Plus. And, um, and it also has 96% of DCI-P3, 140 percent of srgb i mean this seems to be like a really promising really good monitor slash tv and what i meant when i said that you may already have it at home it's because if you would take a closer look to this let me see if i can amplify this if we take a closer look to this does it look familiar to you well except that it says gigabyte here and the legs are different but this is essentially the hisense uag yes believe it or not this is the Hisense UAG, this is the back of the TV, and I know this because I have this TV with me. This is very familiar, but when I saw this, I was like, oh, okay, this is the Hisense UAG for sure. This is exactly the same way the uh, ports are located, and this is Hisense remote control to the TV. It's essentially the UAG, the 55 inch version, of course, with different legs, different logo, and also they included this little graphics in the back, which I think they look pretty awesome. But uh, I was hoping to see a TV with a display port, which is something that is missing. If we go take a look at the ports, these are basically the same ports that the UAG has. No display port, which is, uh, I was a little disappointed about that. The only other difference that I noticed is that if we go to their website, they added these little features, for example, AIM Stabilizer Sync that supposedly smoothens out the experience so you can get a baiting, better aiming assistance. Also, they added Black Equalizer to, you know, brighten up the scenes when it's kind of dark. I've seen this in monitors mostly. They also added this uh, six axis control so you can con have more control of the uh, uh, colors red green blue cyan magenta and yellow individually so that's kind of cool and they also added this uh, screen timer and crosshair for you know when you're playing especially like shooters and games like that you can buy it from amazon right now and it's very affordable 750 dollars 748 dollars to be exact you can buy it right now you can buy the six the 65 inch so 65 inch price drop to one thousand dollars that is the one that I have. And like I said, guys, this is a great TV. They have also added other features like Dolby Vision game mode, which now you can play game mode. Uh, I'm sorry, Dolby Vision with low input lag and also at only at 60 hertz. Hopefully they added the 120 hertz, but you can play at 60 hertz. No issues whatsoever. It runs very good. I have videos about it. It also supports HDMI, VRR. So that works with the PlayStation 5 and also supports um, FreeSync Premium. So you can play that with the Xbox Series X. It, it is a great TV, but uh, you don't fool me, Gigabyte. This is Hisense UHG. If you guys want to learn more about all this information, there's going to be links to the articles that I'm reading right in the description of the video. So go and take a look at that. 
All right, guys, so now let's jump into the brand new monitor from Samsung. This is the Odyssey Neo G8 with a 4K 32 inch monitor with 240 hertz of refresh rate. And this is not just any monitor, this is like the mini LED su supreme monitor from Samsung that is coming out very soon. And I'm really excited about this. I saw this monitor at CES and it was a beast. It looks amazing, really good display. And it has, the specs are just over the top, 240 hertz, 4K resolution. I mean, it's not like my PC is able to go up to those 240 hertz of refresh rate, but wow, it's coming very amazing. It's looking really good. Also, HDR 2000, that's insane. So all the specs, they look amazing. But what about the price? I mean, there is no official price right now, but uh, looking at other monitors that are very similar, I'm really, really scared about the pricing. So if you guys don't know, there's a new mini LED monitor from ViewSonic. This is the 32 inch ViewSonic, what is it? The XG321UG. And the specs are very similar, but the price, it's wow, $2,500. And the specs, like I said, are very similar. This is also a 4K IPS gaming monitor with only 144 hertz of refresh rate compared to Samsung is 240. So this is actually about 100 uh, hertz lower. Also, this mini LED, it's uh, only HDR 1400. And I say only because the Samsung is 2000. I mean, this is bright enough too. HDR 1400, it's very, very bright. But what I don't like about this is the price. I mean, come on, $2,500? With this price, you can go and buy the brand new Samsung QD OLED 55 inch and still save some money compared to this price. So I hope, I hope I'm wrong. But let me know, what do you guys think about this? Are you excited for this monitor? Because I am, I really want to see it. I want to test it out and see how it performs. Now that we're talking about monitors and TVs, the new LG C2 OLED 42 inch version is already available on Amazon right now. And it's on sale for $1,400. I mean, it's not cheap considering that you can get the uh, 48 inch C1 from last year for, I think it's like $1,000. And the difference, the size difference, it's not really that big. I mean, this is 42, so six inches longer. Yeah, well, six inches is still six inches. But if you're looking for this 42 inch format to use it as a monitor, it, this is it, it is available right now. Hopefully they bring the 32 inch next year, which I think that's what they're doing. They're just going to drop every year until they reach the 32 inch or also the 27 inch because I really would love to see a 32 inch OLED C3 maybe next year. Hopefully that happens. But if you want the 42 inch, it's available right now on Amazon and there's going to be a link in the description of the video. So Acer is coming out with a couple of new monitors, 4K monitors with 3D support that you don't need any more 3D glasses. If you guys love 3D movies like I do, this is probably gonna be awesome news for everyone. Now I remember a few years ago, Nintendo came out with a 3DS and it was something similar like this. But uh, what I remember is that you had to be looking at the screen in a, a very straightforward, it was like no angles or anything like that. And I also remember that every time I was playing a game with a three dimensional uh, feature, um, I will get some headache because my, my, my eyes will have to focus more. And I remember I will get dizzy or I will get headaches after a certain um, amount of time so hopefully they fix that hopefully this doesn't happen because I truly enjoy 3d movies I mean I watch 3d movies right here on my projector and I love it so having a monitor with 3d support that's really really interesting I'm really looking forward to this I want to see how it comes out I believe it's only going to be available in a 15 inch size uh, type of monitor so hopefully that changes too, because I want to see like a 27 inch or a 32 inch, that will be great. So let me know in the comments below if you guys love 3D movies, if you guys would love to see some gaming in this 3D monitors. 
And finally, we come to the big news. And I think this is big news because I love all the TVs. I love all the panels. Technology looks amazing. The picture is amazing. And if you love OLED, well, this is going to be great for you. So there's a OLED TV breakthrough fixes all the text problems and it's coming very soon. This is from a company in Japan. It's called uh, Japan Display OLED Info and it promises to deliver twice the brightness of current OLED displays thanks to a huge improvement in efficiency, which also means it could be ideal for phones by the, uh, delivering current brightness levels with much lower power consumption which means that they're going to use less energy so it's going to save a lot of battery on phones but this is also good news for TVs now this technology it says the elapsed advantage is that it offers a larger aperture ratio which basically uh, which is basically how much of the space of each OLED pixel can actually be developed to the parts that put out light a larger window for light means, well, more light. <laughs> I don't know why they didn't think of this before, but it is very basic. So you don't have to pump as much energy to get uh, high levels of brightness if you already have a wider light emitting components. So basically what they did is just like they made them a little bit bigger, the aperture, they opened the aperture of the pixels. It shows just like a picture right here, conventional OLEDs right here. And then the ELIP 60% more uh, light is going to pass through. So uh, this is really, really interesting. But this is what I like about the most of, 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 of this technology. So ELIP looks like it could fix all of those issues. I mean, all the issues is that usually they're not as bright as regular LED TVs. They just can't get as bright. And also, since they get so hot, it, it, the problem is that a screen burn issues it happens and permanent screen burn is terrible picture looks horrible nobody wants to have that and a lot of people are still skeptical about permanent screen burn so those are the biggest issues with OLED besides being like one of very expensive technology right so what happens is that if it works well Japan display is suggesting that it could hit double the brightness that means that all this usually hit roughly around 600 700 nits of peak brightness that means that they can reach maybe around 1400 1500 nits of peak brightness which could take which could take into the same range as higher end led tvs that's right like samsung higher brightness might mean there is no need for the white pixel so color range would be improved yes because all that they usually have this extra additional white pixel to increase brightness but that also changes the color um, the color range so this will be improved now using less less power means that triple lifetime we mentioned above and using less power also also very likely means that less heat and heat is a danger of OLED burning, so the panels will likely be less susceptible to it. Yes, so they're fixing two of the major issues from OLED technology. One is brightness, and the second is heat. So we're going to get a brighter OLED panel with less heat, with less energy consumption. That means that le more likely we're going to have less burn screen burn issues that is that's it this is this is what we're looking for right we've been looking to the qd oled technology of the samsung s95b and sony a95k as the future oled tvs but if japan displays tech can boost existing all the designs in an affordable way we're about to have a fight on our hands that is so so true as always guys if you want to learn or read about these articles from tech raider there's going to be links in the description of the video but what do you guys think about this this new technology all right guys so that's it for this video i hope you guys enjoy it and as always thank you so much for stopping by if you have any questions any comments leave it down there in the comment section i'm joster and i'll see you guys on the next one Joster out. So now let's jump into the new Samsung Neo Odyssey 4K 32 inch 100.
What the fuck? <laughs> Alright, so now let's jump into the brand new 4K 240Hz uh, 30... What? Shit, man. One, two, three.